so we're back with another crochet haul video. We hope you enjoy it. Hey guys, so today I have Axel with me and we have our little grocery haul. And before we jump into that, we are starting school. <laughs> so school starts in a week from today here where we live in California. And Axel's going into what? Fourth grade, baby. So he's going into fourth grade. And are you excited? Yes, super. Okay, so he's excited because he gets to go back and see his friends and not be stuck at home doing the homeschooling with me anymore or the virtual school, whatever you guys want to call it. Um, it's different than homeschooling because it wasn't like the state curriculum or whatever. It was just like his school. We chose to keep him home. So if that makes sense. But anyways, so he is officially going back in person in a week from today and they will be full days of school. So he will be completely back with recess and all his friends and, and be able to have some fun. So we're both excited, right? Yes. Okay. So now we're going to get into the hall. So like I said, school's starting. So I picked up some Gatorade. Um, for lunch boxes, you guys can see the cat in the back. I don't know what that crazy girl's doing. Um, so for lunch boxes or just to take as a drink because it's still hot, it's like 105 degrees today, so it's hot still. Um, some orange juice because this is the kids' one. This will be perfect to have for breakfast um, in the mornings before school instead of just kind of rolling out of bed. We got to get more structured now with a little bit better of breakfasts. Here is some soda. I just got three Pepsis for dinners for Chris. Two gallons of milk. We go through two gallons of milk in a week. Um, every week at our house because we drink a lot. Um, not drink a lot, but drink a lot of milk, I mean. We got some raw hides for the dogs because they love those. It's a fun treat for them. Some chicken for dinner. I got two of these. These are just whole young chickens. I like to roast them in the oven. Comes out incredible and so good. So I got those. Um, I'll freeze one for right now until I'm ready to make it. And then I got some Lunchables. So I just got these as an extra little snack here in California. Um, school lunch is free for every child this coming year. So, normally, Axel never buys lunch. Like, I don't um, have him buy lunch. I always make his lunch every night, and then whatever needs to be cold, he puts in his lunchbox in the morning. Um, but I will make, like, my own version of Lunchables with crackers and some meat and some lunch meat and cheese and stuff. But these are on sale. Chris said that he would take these in his lunch as well, just because of the pure convenience. Um, I know they're not the best, but we decided to go with them. So, are you happy about that? Yes. <laughs> so, sorry you guys for the mess in the background. We're, um, like I said, school starting. So, Chris moved a little bit, one of his home office desks, and we set up Axel. So, we've got a couple more things to do. So, it's kind of a wreck. But anyways, so that was lunch. And the Lunchables, I got eight of these. So, they were four for five. So, that's not bad. I got some pork butt or pork shoulder for carnitas. I will throw this in the crock pot and this will go for about eight or nine hours during the day. So that'll be a perfect, <clears throat> excuse me, dinner this week for us. We are starting to do the go to bed at a, you know, school year bedtime and then uh, wake up. School starts at 745. So we usually wake Axel up about seven. So he can get up and then our school is about a five minute walk. So it's very close for us. Um, I did get some butter. This is our favorite butter, just challenge butter. I got some yogurt. These were 10 for $6. So I got just Chris regular strawberry. He likes that. And then Axel got some Starburst and some Gusher yogurt. I don't know how well those will taste, but he was excited. Are you looking forward to those? <laughs> yes, I want to try them. Okay, so he's ready for those. String cheese, just to eat as a snack because I love it. Kids love it. Chris sometimes will eat it, but it's perfect for just if I'm just a little bit hungry in between meals. Some rice to go with the carnitas on the side. Um, we really like that. Like I've said in the last video, the kids will just eat it also by itself. Um, I eat it by itself or put a little bit of uh, more green pepper or whatever it is in there and it's really good. I got some Velveeta, some shells and cheese. The kids have been asking for this. I don't typically buy this um, 
Chris is a big fan of the regular Kraft macaroni. So I decided this was on sale. This was like $6 for this whole thing. of three. It's a three pack. And they're normally like almost $4 a piece. So that was a good deal. So I decided, okay, I'll just get it. So I did that. I got some tortillas, <clears throat> which are good for just little tacos or little mini quesadillas, whatever it is. I got some avocados. I got a jalapeno for the carnitas and some garlic. So that whole thing and these potatoes, just some regular, you know, potatoes that I got, some russets. I got those. So that whole thing came from Ralph's and it was about I think 125 oh and the other thing from Ralph's too was the dog food so they were low on dog food I normally get it at Sam's um, but I decided that I was just gonna pick it up here this is the smaller bag it's like a 16 and a half pound bag which will last them a little bit but I just went ahead and picked it up for them so that came from Ralph's as well so we're going to go to our other stuff which came from Aldi that I went to first and we got this garden salad for Chris's lunch. I just go ahead and throw them together as salad the night before. Um, he likes this mix the best. He's not super big on romaine. So I thought, okay, I'll just get him this one. These I have never tried before. These are the hash browns. I don't know if you guys have tried these before, but there, hash brown patties. Um, there was another man at the store next to us. He said he buys these and he really likes them. So he said he just throws them on the frying pan and he makes them extra crispy. He says they're very similar to like a McDonald's taste, which my kids love. So I know they're not the best, but make this with some eggs in the morning for them or whatever. And that'll be perfect. Some two things of green onion, some brioche. Uh, I bought this because I like the thickness of this and the flavor when I use this for, um, French toast. I know. I forgot. <laughs> He's like French toast. I forgot. Uh, so for French toast. So this is perfect. It doesn't get super soggy. Um, the egg and stuff doesn't seep through and make little holes. This is the perfect thing for French toast. And it's like a dollar, I don't know, a dollar 50 or something like that. Maybe less than that. I honestly don't remember, but for the whole loaf. So that's perfect. I needed some dish soap. So I got that. And then I just got some cheese. It's as a little snack to send um, him to school with if he um, still has any left over because he eats cheese. It's like nobody's business. And then a 12 pack of eggs. They're like a dollar 39 here. So that's a good deal. And then these, I never usually get these. Um, I mean, ever we have like a big Joe that we got from Walmart, but, um, I decided to give this a try. So these are like little pillows, um, like little backrests, the green ones for Axel. And I thought this pink one's so cute. I love it. So we have one of those outdoor projector screens. We watch movies on in the front yard or the backyard. Um, but instead of just laying on blankets, we figured we'd put these out there. So that'll be fun to use. Um, so we're excited to try that. And then two more things that I forgot. I got some enchilada sauce because I was low and I love making enchiladas. And then I got these, well, Axel asked for them, Hello Panda, little just cream chocolates, like a crispy outside with a cream chocolate, little cookie type things. He likes these. So I told him he can have one um, before school started and then he would have to wait until school started to take them in his lunch or he would have them as an after school treat um, because he really likes these. So, and they really have been out. So I was super excited to see them back. So that is our grocery haul. So you guys can see, we got a lot of stuff. And I think, like I said, the Aldi haul was like $45 and then it was like 125 or so. So not bad, especially for getting two of those and a dog food. So we're excited to use our new pillows. I'm going to put all this stuff away and um, hopefully we will see you guys soon with another grocery haul. Probably go next week. Um, but if you guys like our video, what do they do? Make sure to like and, like and subscribe. Yep. So let's get some subscribers and have some fun. We'll see you guys soon. Bye. Bye.